Whoa. I hear a Cazador. I think I hear a Cazador. You leave me no choice. Here we go. Hello, survivors, and welcome to We Who Survive. My name is James, and this is episode 29 of our Viva New Vegas run, and episode 3 of Honest Hearts. So it looks like we're just going to get right into it, I guess. So it is. Oh, this little dude's fast. He skitters. Might as well tickle them with a feather. Yeah, it's sort of sort of what it seems like, huh? Alright, I maybe should have had that out from the jump, but whatever, it's done now. Boom. What the heck is that? Oh, that's just a rat. I shouldn't waste ammo on a rat, but it'd be over with. Look at his tongue, bro. Boy, he's going crazy. Dang, don't let him near your girl. It's over. Alright, so anyway, what I was going to say but never got a chance is uh, we're going to head to the Sorrows and we're going to head towards Daniel because we got all of his supplies. So we're going to go give them their supplies. And if anything interesting pops up along the way, I'll be sure to let you know. Happen oh, I guess she walked up to me when I was up on the bridge. Oh, no, here she is. You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. All right. Um, What's your deal, dude? Waking Cloud is my name. I am midwife to the Sorrows. It sounds ill omen, no? Midwife to Sorrows? Uh, midwife, but I don't see any children. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. And what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. All right. What would you speak of? Give me some info on Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English from the Holy Books. The <laughs> English Holy Books? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment, but the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known him for long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. What? Right, that's all then for I now. So welcome to the Sorrows. They have a midwife for children that don't exactly hang around or be born anymore, but... Oh, he's up here this time. Cool, this time we're all happy. Well, hi, Daniel. The dead horse has told me details about the attack on your caravan. A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Alright, he told me you needed a few things. I think I've got your supplies. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. 
Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. <sighs> Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them, so I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend, but if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to recover a map of Grand Staircase, a wilderness area to the east. There's also the matter of the roads. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. All right, well, anything to help, dude. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the White Legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Daniel has given me some pre-war mining explosives and a special detonator. They aren't useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse caves. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. No, my boy. Follows. We just... Are you sure, dude? Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. Aw, oh, man, I just might. Give him my regards. I will. Good gunning, Akis. Yeah, yeah, Ak Akis. Whatever that is. Dang, man. Well, wait, so we got Daniel her now. Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have completed your... Yeah, let's go. Before we depart, our shaman, White Bird, asked me to convey his desire to speak with you. Aw, oh, that dude's trying to get me killed. Any idea what he wants? He did not say. White Bird is notoriously... Ah, okay. I mean, white legs haven't bothered me, though. Are they about to start bothering me now? I'll take some free experience. We're close to a level, boy. Um. Alright, I don't know if I can get this dude's missions without him sending me into crazy vision mode. But if I can, then we'll do it. All right, here's the vision quest, dude. I want your missions, but I don't want you to send Hola, me tripping you. Outsider. No. Wise man. Nope, I'm not going straight into your visions, dude. I'm not crazy. We're gonna go kill everything up there first that we can before we go doing some crazy vision quests. So, what is our current quest? Speak to White Bird the Shaman. Okay, well, not right now. Got river monsters. Yaogwai at Pine Creek. Deal with the Yaogwai. Kill and collapse. Oh, okay. Eight legs. Oh, wow. We got a bunch of stuff. All right. Well, this is good because we need experience. Um, where is this? I'm not excited to go killing a Yaogwai, but got to be done at some point. Where the white legs are. Oh, boy. The white legs are everywhere. All right, the white legs are really everywhere. Let's start with a Yaogwai. I'm not sure how wise that is. It's probably not wise at all. And then I think there's Cazadors over here. Pine Creek Tunnel. Oh boy, that just, that looks really bad. You know what, we'll go deal with some people first. Maybe people are a little more manageable. All right, what's our closest? All right, well, the, Airy. Apparently unavailable. Alright, well, I gotta get down and then we'll get started on some. Oh, and I'm gonna, I guess I should discover, there's a bunch of caves up here, so free experience. I don't think many of them have anything, but it's like different ways to get around. Oh god. Alright, maybe not, because I just sort of went past all of them. Screw it. Hey, is that Joshua? What? Joshua's all the way out here? What the heck? By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. 
Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Do you know what it means? Uh, I'm guessing you're pretty mad. The White Legs didn't just force my people out of New Canaan. They butchered everyone who wasn't fast enough to get away. The elderly, the ill, children, those who stopped to help the wounded. It made no difference to them. They can't be reasoned with. The White Legs. Daniel believes that if we leave, if the Sorrows leave, the White Legs will stop. He doesn't understand what this kind of tribe is like. What kind of tribe is that? God told Moses that the tribes of Cain would not be welcome in Zion. The White Legs are as close as I have seen, beyond hope, beyond redemption. But if the Sorrows die in a state of ignorance, their salvation may be delayed as well, passing from life in this world to a spiritual prison. We have a responsibility to protect this place and those who have come to dwell in it. If you feel the same way, speak with Daniel. There may yet be time to save Zion from those who are too ignorant to understand what they have come to destroy. I did speak to Daniel. Do you want me to re-speak to Daniel? I don't think you do. I think you're tripping, dog. Okay. I just reloaded. We're gonna have to do one thing. As you We're gonna have to have to have this idiot wait there because otherwise she just runs straight up to the Yao guys and dies like instantly. She's so stupid. Alright, so now we're gonna have her wait and I'll see if I can deal with these Yao guys, which probably not, but hey. You guys doing? Getting a little weird. Yeah, I'm just trying to shoot your head, but your head keeps moving. What the heck are you doing? You're not really getting anywhere, bud. What the heck? This is just like the Cazadors all over again. What's going on? I wouldn't mind using the shotgun if I could get close enough, but I don't know that I can without actually hurting myself. Dude, that bear and those two Cazadors we faced, I don't understand. How are they so dumb? Like, what is going on? Okay. Alright, well, there's one more giant Yagwai left, and then there should still be a bunch of green geckos around here somewhere. I have no idea where that Yagwai took off to. Dang, that was a strong big one. Alright, where'd this other bear go, dude? Just disappeared? What the heck is that? No, it's one of those plant things. No, we'll just get rid of that in advance, too.
Bought a little bit of ammo from Joshua, as you can probably tell. Okay, so we just, where is this giant Yaogwai? If we can kill him, we're pretty much ready for the vision quest, ironically. Um, but I can't really, I want to leave him loose. I have no idea where it went. Alright, well, I have, I have no idea where that last giant Yaogwai went. I cannot find the thing at all. That must be a gecko. It looks like an alligator down there swimming in the water. Okay, so no second giant Yaogwai. He, oh, crap. Stay cautious. There it is. Whoa, look at it. It's tripping out, dude. It. What is it doing? Nothing <laughs> Dang, all right, well. Most people outside the valley do not. All right, that thing was stupid around. That thing was stupid enough to mess around and find out. So it found out. Dang, son. Actually, I don't even think I have anything to take from that, really. So with that, let's go see about some white legs. All right, well, I was not expecting bears up here. Let's see if we can find a nice, easy way down. Bet you we can somewhere. Right down here, it looks like. Oh, nice. We still got geckos to deal with, though. Crap. That looks like a giant one, so definitely want that guy gone. What is that? Oh, it's just bones or something? Okay. There's our white legs. Hey, I hit one. Are they coming to me? I mean, they can't, but... Okay, no, I think they're going around. Yeah, because I can't see them, so they're definitely going around. All right, well, let's work our way down here then. Ooh. This time with hopefully no bears. All right, so the first thing we got to do is, like, disarm their bear traps or something, it says. Let's go see what these... Yeah, they just lay bear traps everywhere. Well, that's sort of silly. All right. Go disarm all these and then we'll hunt the white legs down and kill them because they should have ammo and I want ammo. Oh, we're so close to a level. Come on, give it to me. I haven't leveled in 37 years. Oh man, we are thirsty, I guess, huh? I did not notice that. Go grab a drink real quick. Ooh, you trying to talk me into staying being your little, your little boo thing? I might be about it. I might be about it. Alright, so there's our traps disarmed. Oh, wait. No, so I didn't get to kill the white legs. Well, they're somewhere over there. Let's go hunt them down anyway. We're gonna hunt these white legs down and kill them ourselves. They went, like, over here. Oh, we get a level. Alright, I'm going to put lockpick to 45 so we can get it to 50 on the next level. I'm going to toss the last little extra one into repair there. That's how we'll go about it. Ooh, I get a perk too. That means I gotta read through them all because it's been so long. I'm torn between a lot of them, but we really just need more skill points. So I'm thinking I'm going to take tag because I screwed up my leveling so bad. So I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet, but that's probably what we're going to do. Well, if I put it in repair, that takes us right to repair 50. It doesn't actually help us immediately with lock picking. But I'm thinking if we put it in lock picking, that gets us 60. And then on our next level, we can still get it to 75 if we want. And then we're actually getting some use out of that as a side skill. 
So I'm going to go with lock picking. Downside is that would mean two levels in a row of putting all the points into lock picking pretty much. But we'd actually get something out of it. So I think it's worth it. We'll go with that. See what happens. Could be worth it because I know there's stuff to unlock here and whatever. So we'll see how that goes. But we got that mission done surprisingly quick because I didn't get to do the uh, optional part. But I think we'll see if we can hunt them down anyway. Hey, I feel like our white legs are up here somewhere. On who? Oh, that's just a scorpion, dude. When salt upon wounds took New Canaan, oh, he ordered multiple. the white legs to salt the earth so nothing could grow again. What kind of monster could do? We seem to be safe for the moment. You leave me no choice. Oh, come on. This little thing is going to ruin the whole... Eh. Don't want to waste the 308 ammo on it. Oh. She's sort of dumb, so... Gonna chase it. Alright, anyway. These white lakes. Where they at? Where the white girls at? Whoa! I hear a Cazador. I think I hear a Cazador. You leave me no choice. You leave me no choice. Oh my god. He is literally trying to die, so there's nothing I can do when she dies. What? Dang, that was such luck for her. I don't know if she realizes how lucky she just got. I just spent way more ammo than I meant to, but that turned out okay. And we took out a giant Cazador somehow. Oh my god. Here they are. Who is they? Stop finding more people. Okay. Alright. Hey, I think we can use that to repair ours. Yes. But now the shotgun is actually sort of viable. Decent. Full fire axe. Take your frag mines. I should have been wearing my white legs armor this whole time instead of my good armor that I can't repair. That's probably the way to do it, huh? All right. Well, that was uh, that was quite an adventure today. That was a lot of Yao Guai and white legs. <laughs> Uh, I think for time's sake, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. But when I come back, we will do uh, and take care of some more of those similar missions. I was hoping to get two missions done, but that turned into a lot of creature killing. So I think we'll just call that where it is for now. I will drop a save, one of my many hundreds of hundreds of spam saves. And I think that's going to wrap it up. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and I will see you in the next one. Really? You can't hit a bloat fly? Here they are. What is it doing? Oh my god. It's like glitching.